Tekrar hoş geldiniz. Bugün e, çok özel bir masterclass etkinliği gerçekleştiriyor olacağız. Fransız gastronomi ve dünya mutfağının harika klasiklerini harmanlayan, dünyanın dört bir yanından Le Cordon Bleu mezunları tarafından oluşturulmuş, Le Cordon Bleu'nun en yeni yemek kitabı olan A Culinary Journey yayınlandı. Her ay uluslararası bir Le Cordon Bleu mezunumuz ile A Culinary Journey kitabındaki reçetesini online masterclass olarak gerçekleştireceğiz. Etkinliklerimizin, etkinlik serimizin detayları için bizi takipte kalın. Sözü Le Cordon Bleu Türkiye Direktörü Defne Ertan Tüysüzoğlu'na vermek isterim. We will be doing a very special masterclass today. Le Cordon Bleu's newest cookbook, A Culinary Journey That Blending the Wonderful Classics of French Gastronomy and International Cuisine has been created by Le Cordon Bleu alumni from all over the world. Every month, we will do a series of online masterclasses with international Le Cordon Bleu alumni featuring their recipe in Culinary Journey book. Stay tuned for the details of our A Culinary Journey recipe event series. I would like to give floor to Director of Le Cordon Bleu Turkey, Defne Ertan Tüysüzoğlu. Dear guests, dear students, we are so happy that we are together with you in another uh, Zoom event. Uh, from uh, different parts of the world, actually. We are airing from Istanbul and Paula Mendes Carreras is joining us from Argentina. And as Duyku told you already, uh, for the celebration of 125th anniversary of Le Cordon Bleu, uh, Le Cordon Bleu launched a wonderful book, uh, the, A Culinary Journey, with alumni all over the world. And we want to... Take We celebrate this special event with doing some masterclass from the recipes from the book and invites uh, those alumni from all over the world. And we are very happy that we have participants joining from uh, different countries as well. Uh, the, uh, that's why we wanted to do bilingual. Değerli misafirlerimiz, değerli öğrenciler, tekrar bir Zoom etkinliğimizde beraber olmaktan çok mutluyuz. Cordon Bleu 125. yılını kutlamak için bu harika kitabı çıkardı. A Culinary Journey isimli bu kitapta dünyanın dört bir tarafından farklı şeflerin, farklı mezunlarımızın reçeteleri kondu. Altı tane de Türkiye'den aslında katılımcı var. Biz bu güzel kitabı kutlamak, e, buradaki reçeteleri beraberce yapmak için de bir e, masterclass yapmak istedik. Ve ilk e, misafirimiz Arjantin'den Sayın Paula Mendes Carreras, Şef Paula oldu. E, gördüğünüz gibi pırıl pırıl bir e, mutfak, rengarenk malzemelerle bizi karşılıyor Paula. E, onun için biz de çok heyecanlıyız böyle güzel bir etkinlik yaptığımız için. E, chatten sorularınızı sorabilirsiniz. Ben tekrar sözü Duygu Hanım'a vermek istiyorum. I would like to pass the world over to Duygu so that she can also explain you about how we are going to be communicating. I wish you all a wonderful masterclass. Duygu will be unmute herself. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Bugünün konuk şefi Le Cordon Bleu Paris ve Londra mezunu Şef Paula Mendes Carreras bizlere A Culinary Journey kitabında bulunan ricotta salatası tarifini sunacak. Etkinliğimiz İngilizce olarak gerçekleşecektir. Zoom ekranınızda yer alan çeviri butonundan İngilizceyi seçerseniz İngilizce, Türkçeyi seçerseniz Türkçe çevirimizi dinleyebilirsiniz. Sorularınızı chat kısmından bizlere iletebilirsiniz. Today's guest chef is Le Cordon Bleu Paris and London graduate Chef Paula Mendes Carreras will present the ricotta salad recipe which is included in the book. Our event will be in English. If you choose English from the interpretation button on your Zoom screen, you can listen in English. If you choose Turkish, you can listen the Turkish translation. You can send your questions through chat. Thank you. Hello everyone. Hello. Thank you very much, Daphne, Do you, Rima, all the all the staff of Le Cordon Bleu Istanbul, Istanbul. Sorry, and Le Cordon Bleu Paris and London. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure to be here and to show a little of my cocoon cuisine uh, 
uh, that I learned 25 years ago in, uh, in Le Cordon Bleu Paris. So I think it's, um, it's like the, the Cordon Bleu is like a, a great family all over the world. And I appreciate a lot to be part of this community. Thank you. So today, well, I live, I am Pamela, so thank you for the presentation. And I live, you know, in the countryside, you can hear about all the, how is it? chickens and everything. So I live in, in a little town that's called San Antonio de Areco, one hour and a half from ca the capital of Argentina, Buenos Aires. In the countryside, in a small town where I'm going to have uh, in a few months, I hope, my new, I suppose so. My new restaurant is called Corazonada. And I hope next time we'll make this masterclass in Corazonada, okay? So the, the recipe that I choose for the book, A Culinary Journey, the last year for the 125 years of the school, Ah, because I remember that I, I make, I do the Cordon Bleu in Paris when it has 100 year, pardon, years that, and Julia Child, I remember last time that Julia, uh, Julia Child come to the school in Paris because they do like a presentation and, well, a, a festival with Julia. So I was 20 years ago, 20 years, and well, it was very, very nice, <laughs> an unforgettable moment. So for this book, I choose a recipe with asparagus because it was a, a vegetarian recipe um, for springtime, no? Now in Argentina, we are in summer, so we are not, we don't have any more asparagus. So I changed the recipe with heron tomatoes. So you can see here, all kind of tomatoes that we can choose and that we can uh, have here. Well, some of the tomatoes, like like this one, this one you see, are from my. How do you say? Are from my huerta. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, my English is my first language, so well, I do my my better. So, and other tomatoes are from my providers, providers, that eh? providers. Thank you. Like rum tomatoes, green tomatoes, I have here, you know. So we are going to make a, a, a, a, the recipe with this uh, product, okay? I like um, when, for example, when I cook, I like to, to, to combine the, some, for example, some vegetables with fruit. And that's in summer, it's typical of my cuisine. I like too much. So first of all, we are going to make the vinaigrette. The vinaigrette is very easy, of course, but you have to uh, balance the flavor. That is the most important thing. So for beginning the, um, the recipe of the vinaigrette, you, so, Okay, you can uh, read the ingredients that we have lemon vinegar, uh, a finely grated uh, lemon zest, Dijon mustard, this, um, minced shallot, I have to put my, my, my line, but it's okay, <laughs> uh, muscovado sugar, extra olive oil, and uh, sea salt flakes. Okay, so I began with a little of Mustard, Dijon, here. Then uh, ah, some shallots. Shallots, of course. Then I have my lemon vinegar. Yes, no. Then some salt, sorry. Pepper, ground pepper. You can add to the recipe, please. 
I love the, the pepper. Then the vinegar. Well, the vinegar is very important, the quality, okay? And I am like, all, all my recipe has a little drizzle of a good vinegar, you know? I, I love because it's, it's what, ba the, the acidity is what uh, balances all the flavor. Thank you. Um, lemon zest. Thank you very much for being there <laughs> with my <laughs> chicken. <laughs> this is chicken. My chicken, you can hear. Eh? I see, bro. Thank you. Okay, lemon zest. Why? Why is important the vinaigrette? Because the, the recipe is too uh, simple recipe. It's, it's just about take a little of uh, heat from the for this uh, product and then you have the master uh, flavor in your mouth okay so now at the end of course we mix together all the ingredients for the vinegar very easy and you add the olive oil a good quality of course mm -hmm. i like sometimes uh, I change the olive oil that I use in, in my restaurant, in my cuisine. Um, well, it depends uh, what recipe I am going to do. Perhaps I can uh, choose the olive oil that I, I like. Okay, a little more. And my grandmother told me a little of water at the end. <laughs> this, is a, this is not a cordon bleu recipe, my grandmother uh, recipe. Secret, not recipe. Okay, now I put in uh, a side and we are going to begin the, with the vegetables, to work with the vegetables. So I will choose. Look at this, this black tomato, this black, black and green tomato, the raw tomato, this one. Which one? Oh, some smaller tomato peritas. Okay, here. Podemos poner la cámara acá, no? Se ve? Okay, and a green tomato, this one, for example. And we see. So, we are going to cut. With, with my little knife, I like. Well, I like to cut. It depends if you want to see no, the black, um, la, la, la piel, the skin, the black skin of the tomato. Thank you, Luli. Thank you, Maxi. Oh, yeah, I have a great, a great, uh, People in the other side of the camera, <laughs> help me. Okay, so, yes, it's very important. You can hear, I have a little kitchen here because this is like the setting for, a special setting for the Cordon Bleu Istanbul today. But it's very important when you cook something to have the widow. Um, the noise of the olive oil you you you, you can see huh? so i will choose to, to cut like this for example this one i will cut it this tomato like this oh, yeah. yes ¿Me sirven una pregunta? ¿No? Look the green tomato. Yes, it's the same recipe. ¿Y si son gritados o heridos? ¿Y los espárragos? No, the, the, the espárragos, no, not boil, only um, grilled. Yeah. 
So perhaps I can choose uh, this little green tomato, the little one, so I pack it like this. I am thinking about in the presentation of the recipe for the plate, okay? So let us try this. So look at this. So first of all, I put some different tomatoes. Come on, they put little Ah, if you don't like the peaches, if you don't like this, you can do, for example, arandanos, blueberries, or I like or figs. I like figs also with the tomato. I, I make sometimes I make a, a salad with raw tomatoes and with and raw figs, olive oil, and that's all. And like uh, uh, here I have a basil, um, Thai basil. So look at this, my my little Thai basil. I mira Maxim, ya lo que compré. This is Thai basil that is a good uh, flavor for the tomato. So, well, so we put some olive oil, a little more, be careful. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to add some muscovado sugar. I have a light muscovado sugar. Mm -hmm. Oops. Pepper, be careful the pepper, only in the tomato, no, not in the pan, because it can burn and the flavor is very mm, amargo. <laughs> bitter, muy bien, muy bien, Paula, bitter. So I add garlic, see, like this, for a little of flavor also. My grandmother do like this. First of all, the garlic in the pan with the olive oil, and then the, the, the other ingredients. Well, OK. Like that. Ah, the chicken, no, no, it's OK. <laughs> the miso. Time. Time for this time. I like to see. And, well, I would like to, during this, uh, I know you, you can imagine the flavor of this. It's so magical. I put some salt, yes, no? I don't, I don't. So during uh, this, I want to contact. To tell, to tell you one of my beautiful experiences in the Cordon Bleu in Paris when I was 20 years ago, 20 years, was that um, I remember all the time when, I, when I'm cooking, uh, like in olive oil and in a little of butter, the puerro. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> The, the leek, no, leek, olive oil, a little, and butter, when I'm cooking that, I, it's like when I was in Paris in the Cordon Bleu, it's like, a, a, I don't know, like, como un viaje, like a, like a, like a travel, <laughs> 25 years, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I know so beautiful. Oh. I miss a lot to be near one of the this food. And I promise after this pandemia I want to to know the Cordon Bleu of Istanbul. Yes. I am very glad to come over, Paula. Come on. We are looking forward for you to come over. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I like. So it's, it's important not to start 
touch all the time the tomato. So you can have like a, a very to, uh, caramelizado, no? Caramelized, caramel. Okay? Look at this. Okay. So now I am going to have here to put like this. Now this recipe is like what you eat in the oven. The garlic I take out. The garlic I take out is only for the for the pan. Okay. Um, this is like something very fast and simple that you can do uh, for déjeuner, for example. And um, let. A minute, please. And you can mix with another vegetable or someone else that you like. For example, if you don't like peaches, you can take out. Doesn't matter. I remember for the book, for the culinary journey, I I I just make a lot of. Um, recipe with vegetables. I remember with Maxi and a lot of photographs because it was the springtime, so <clears throat> I make with uh, artichoke, the other recipe with the sparrowgut that you can see in the, in the book. Um, with um, springtime, we, we have um, tirabeques. I don't know what I mean in English. It's like albejas and beans and green beans. Um, well, a lot of salad with a lot of all the vegetables of springtime, you know, after the winter, it's like you need to eat a great a green and, and, and saludable and healthy. Uh, well, um, um, they called me from the Cordon Bleu Paris to be in the book, so I say, perfect, I like this recipe, so... Uh, let's go with the recipe of the asparagus. So you can cut the the peach like this. So then in another pan, no? Yes. Okay. In another pan, I put a little one drizzle of olive oil again. Be careful not to burn the olive oil, of course, we know that. And the ricotta, salata. I have this, the ricotta here. That is a proved, um, a consiste proveedor, here from Argentina, the, that have the animals very near to my house, so it's important. No, like local food, local. We have to eat more local and local and local. <laughs> look, look what I am doing. Okay, I put the ricotta like this without nothing, but then. I put the peaches here. I love this place. I love the asparagus and this one. Well, because I didn't find the asparagus in summer. There is no, the asparagus in Argentina, you are like three weeks only, and then it's finished. <laughs> so I put some little salt. Yes. Pepper, only in the ricotta. Okay. On top of the record. If Monsieur Le Chef du Cordon Bleu see my my table, 
we can win. <laughs> now, we have, it's very important when we cook to be very organizing and very, no? Clean, yes. Como se dice? Clean. So I will put all the tomatoes here. And here. Perfect. Okay. Look. I don't touch anything because I want the recipe, the, the ricotta to have the, the crunchy, how is it called? Crust. Toast. Toast and crispy. Mm -hmm. So here are the tomatoes. Look at this. Mira más. Yeah. You can put like this in a good, in a beautiful place. You put it up. I remember all my, my chef, my, my professor, my teacher in Cordon Bleu are so nice in London also. I was so happy they are. So I am very glad to share this with, with you. Thank you. So another secret in the cuisine is to taste. We have to taste everything we make, of course. Because sometimes we forget to taste and then the plate is going to the, to the salon, to the restaurant, to our clients. And then we said, but in my, how do you say, equipo madrigal, I say all the time, you have, taste, you, you have to taste what you make, what you are cooking, because then you never know. Perfect. Ah, I like, I like the ricotta like this, very, Look. This. Three small pieces. Mm -hmm. like this. Perfect. I think the um, the cheese is giving like a little of sweetness, natural sweetness, not sugar, only the taste the tomato that all taste the food. So perhaps I can I can cut this like this. So I put a smaller Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. So now we are going to put some, we have like basil, Thai basil. It's not in the recipe, but I found here in my table. Mmm, very flavor. And put the smaller, you have some question? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Paula, one of our uh, participants asked if they could use peaches from a can or would it be too sweet? Oh, en lata, si se puede. Um, yes, you can, of course. I don't. It's, I, I think we have to eat seasonally with season uh, products. So I think all uh, today we have to respect the, the seasonal products. So if you, if you don't have peaches, I prefer perhaps you can change with another fruit of, or not fruit, only the tomatoes, okay? Another question was, if you blanch the peaches before, I think you put it uh, fresh, right? You just grill them. 
¿Cómo? Did you blanch? Did you blanch the peaches before? Ah, no, no, no, I didn't blanch. No, no, they are raw. No, they are raw. Only I take out the skin and that's all. I didn't blanch. Because if, if I blanch, they have to a lot of water perhaps, and then in the pan, they are not going to caramelize a lot, like I want. Ah, okay, good question. In winter, for example, if we, we are in winter, <clears throat> what can I add? Let me see. Ah, the cabbage, I love cabbage. Cabbage, rose cabbage, but in that time we can make different. For example, the cabbage I put in the in the in a pan in a pan in the oven. I open the cabbage in small. I cut the cabbage like this with a small cut. How do you say cut? And then I put some garlic, garlic inside and thyme, garlic and thyme. And then I cover all the cabbage with um, aluminum paper, paper, but I don't like the aluminum paper. What can we cover with? What do you think? So then you, you put in the oven for 40 minutes, for example, and olive oil. Sí. Ah, perfect. Sí, sí, ahora le voy a dar, eh. No lo termine, ya, ya, ya termino and uh, in the oven for 40 minutes and then you cut and then you can uh, serve with ricotta like this or with another cheese but i like very much the cabbage so for the finishing two two things first of all the vinaigrette <laughs> don't forget the vinaigrette paula be careful because I I speak, I speak, and then I forget. So we you we can put like a little drizzle of vinegar. Hola. Pregunta Osama. Pregunta, what can we use as summer vegetable? Another summer vegetable? Ahora de verano. And uh, <laughs> okay. Um wow, oh, aubergine. Why not? Zucchinis? Aubergine, um, uh, zucchini. I, I, I love. I don't know. I began to to to create new recipes. <laughs> um, yes. Do you like? And then you have. Uh, si, si, my knee. Peanuts. Peanuts. Yes. Okay. So I put some. Oi. Peanuts like this. Y una una alternativa al tomate negro. Okay, no, if you don't have black tomato, it doesn't matter, you can use it. another one. Now, here I put some peanuts because I need something crunchy, you know. So, I, I like the, the texture also, not only the flavor is a recipe, no, it's also the, the, the, the texture. So if you have something uh, crispy, can be peanuts or can be almonds, you can put uh, like, um, I don't know, nuts. nuts. Yes, of course. Caramelized nuts also. For example, if for autumn, I think if I like to a variety, uh, here is too hot, you know. In Argentina, you have like 30 degrees or more, I think, no? Okay. <clears throat> so you you have, um, for autumn, I like, do like a plate, the concubitace, with different kind of pumpkins, and, <clears throat> and with uh, avellanas, with noisette. Chico, chico? And with noisette. Okay. It's okay, this. What do you think? Piren, una ramita de menta también. Well, I am a, ma a mother of three girls. Hello, Isabella. 
Se o Ikei me. Say hello to her. Well, this is very important for the chef of Le Cordon Bleu. You have to, uh, to, well, to take care, the plates have to be very clean. Like this, what do you think? Hmm? Gorgeous, we love it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, because it's a salad, no, it's a lot of ingredients, a lot of a good quantity, I think, for a déjeuner with a healthy déjeuner. But you can do it more. For example, it's it's you have a, a gastronomy restaurant. No, you are going to make like with how do you say pinza? With the chef work with. Um, sometimes I work with a pinza. I come on, this. Okay. Sorry, I don't know. Um, Reaper. Eh? Reaper. With a gripper, so you can put uh, the tomato, the slice of tomato, the perfect slice. I am, I, I, I like to work like uh, more naturally, I don't know. I like very much the gastronomy, no? But with, you have it in a restaurant with uh, napkins and everything. So what do you think? Bottom? Okay. Thank you, Maxi. I say that you have we have to taste everything. <laughs> and I didn't taste. I will taste it one tomato. Mm. Mm. Well, Perfect. Uh, you taste for all of us. It looks so beautiful, <laughs> so fresh. Thank you. Uh, yes. Yes. Last week we had snow in Turkey in Istanbul, but seeing all those fresh uh, summer vegetables and uh, fruits makes us to take summer and dream Thank about you. summer. Thank you very much. It's just beautiful. And as you said, it is important. This is actually why, uh, although it was asparagus in the recipe book, we wanted to do something seasonal because we respect season, we respect sustainability. Uh, yeah. And it, is, it gives us a good opportunity to see how we can change the recipes, but uh, still keep the flavor. And thank you very much, Paula, for that. Uh, let's okay. see if we have any other uh, questions, maybe from chat, if people can write on the chat, we can uh, ask you. Okay. Okay. Arjantin'deki mevsime uygun olarak yaz meyveleri ve sebzeleriyle yapmak istedik Paula'yla. E, arzu edenler chatten e, sorularını sorabilirler. Okay. Tenemos preguntas? Podemos usar algo más que no sea if there, if you don't use a vinaigrette, if you don't have time to make a vinaigrette that you can make in in my house, I make once a week the vinaigrette for all the the recipe of the week of the family. But if you don't have, you can no a drizzle of olive oil, a good one, and a good. Um, vinegar, lemon vinegar, hibiscus vinegar. I, I like too much to cook with uh, flowers, edible flowers, of course. So sometimes I have a vinaigrette of um, um, hibiscus or roses or, how do you say it? Sauco. Uh, um, ah, I don't forget, I forget. The sauco vinegar, okay. Elder. Elder. Elder flower. Elder flower. Flower. Maxi, otra pregunta? 
Another you know, question is, can we use pomegranate molasses instead? Pomegranate <gasps> molasses. I love, of course, is my my Lebanon from my and in Tur in Turkish also no you you use the pomegranate. I have in my kitchen the pomegranate. I love the pomegranate because it's a flavor that every time you have to put in all the, your recipe and like a flavor that is like wow effect. It's the wow effect, I think, the pomegranate. So it's a very good idea. Yes, I will. Put like one, two, three, you know, and then you found the flavor with this is fantastic. Thank you. Yes, very good. My family is from Lebanon, so I was there travel. I I travel to. Oh, sorry, con el cable. I traveled to Lebanon from for twice, three times or four. I don't know. I remember, and I love. Yes. And I bring to me the pomegranate molas. Another question? We, I put pretty much in every uh, salad, I suppose. That's a very good. And as you mentioned, acidity is important. So, you know, that also gives a good balance with the uh, sweetness and acidity. So I think that's a very good choice. Um, I, as far as I see, we don't have any other questions about the recipe at all. And, uh, wow, very good. So yes, Leah, she's from Lebanon, so that's why she is very used to uh, pomegranate as well. Um, yes, and I would like to thank you very much, Paula, for this wonderful, wonderful event. Thank you. Thank and you for calling me. Thank you, Le Cordon Bleu of Paris, for being in that great uh, book, A Culinary Journey. I don't have the culinary journey, so I hope um, this uh, pandemic uh, go out uh, and then I can, we can travel, you can come to San Antonio Arico, to Corazonada, and uh, well, I, no, the, the best for all, all of you. Thank you, thank you very much. We are looking forward to actually visit your new establishment as well. I think in the garden it will be just beautiful. Eee çünkü hemen Türkçe de söyleyeyim Paula'nın e, yeni bir e, girişimi var. Bahçesinde güzel e, etkinlikler yapmaya başlayacak Arjantin'de. İnşallah oraya da gitme fırsatı olur. E, çok çok teşekkür ediyoruz. Ben sözü Duygu Hanım'a bırakmak istiyorum. Thank you. Thank you Defne. Thank you, all the Cordon Bleu of Istanbul and everyone, everyone that you, all of you, thank you very much. Thank you, Maxi and Luli that is behind the, the camera. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good thank job. You much, Paula, and thank you very much, our participants. Ee, çok teşekkür ederiz Paula. Katılımcılarımız katıldığınız için, geldiğiniz için size de çok teşekkür ederiz. Reçete ile ilgili yapanların bize göndermelerine ilgili bir hatırlatma yapalım isterseniz Duygu Hanım. Tabii. Uh, we have a contest. Uh, you can see in our Instagram page uh, all details. You can read it in our Instagram page. And uh, if you uh, do this recipe and if you share it in your Instagram feed or Instagram story with text Le Cordon Bleu Istanbul and Paolo Mendes Carreras and send the photo le cordon bleu at ozdegin.edu.tr uh, and uh, we will um, we will do a contest and after we will Post to you a culinary journey book. Bir çekiliş etkinliğimiz var. Uh, bu etkinliğimizde <gülüyor> eğer bu reçeteyi yaparsanız evinizde ve Le Cordon Bleu İstanbul ve Paula Mendes Karayaz Instagram sayfalarını etiketleyerek Instagram'ınızda story'nizde ya da post olarak paylaşırsanız ve Le Cordon Bleu İstanbul et lecordomlu.edu.tr mail adresine mail atarsanız bir çekilişle bu kitabı e, kazanan kişiye gönderiyor olacağız. Instagram sayfamızdaki posttan bütün detayları okuyabilirsiniz.
Sefna Hanım sesiniz kapalı. Teşekkür ederiz. Ee, bir sonraki etkinliğimizde önümüzdeki ay tekrar beraber olmak ümidiyle herkese teşekkür ediyoruz. Thank you very much to all of you who joined us and hope to see you next month with another excellent recipe and with another excellent chef. Paula, we couldn't hear you. <laughs> Bye. Like to see. Bye. Bye. Bye. Perfect. Linda.